What's up YouTube and welcome back into our Let's Play as the Borg Collective here. You are with me, Cornish Ratbeard. So, what a couple of episodes we've just had. Massive war with the Herosian and to be fair, we got through it quite nicely. It seems that we adapted quite good and the Herosian just, they just couldn't handle it. I mean, as we started to build our star bases and uh, fortify them somewhat, they were just crashing against them like waves on a rock. So um, today's episode, let's have a look at trying to get everything back on track the way the collective would want it. Perfection is key, remember, and we and we owe it to the Borg to make sure that we we give a good impression on on us playing as the Borg to what their standards would be and what they would want from their queen, me, Cornish Ratbeard, <laughs> and of course you guys. You are all their queen as well because I like you guys to be involved as much as possible. So um, a good point in the comment section in the last couple of videos. We have sent out our probes everywhere, haven't we, guys? Which has been great because we have been gaining knowledge of the vast universe on what is going to be worth assimilating or leaving put. So uh, that's what we're going to con continue to do today. I have gone through some of the names again and uh, sorted out a few of um, the, the messy scientists situation going on there. We just had our hands full, but we have got back to that now and we're going to continue sending our probes out to um, to scare the universe a little bit and to uh, assimilate what we can, gain knowledge of what's out there and what's to come. So then one day we will send a mighty cube in that direction just to assimilate thousands of pops. Obviously, it will be more than one cube, but um, you know what one cube can do in the series. It's insanely powerful. So let's have a little look at some of the scientists that we have going on here. We have a Lark of Borg, which has made it back in 13 of 33. Forgive me, I didn't actually write the word there. I was in a bit of a rush. A six of nine. No leader. We'll have to sort that one out in just a moment. 15 of 15 is back. Welcome back. Toxic, Brie of Borg, that is Brianna. Solaria of Borg, her sister. Both of them got assimilated on the same planet, obviously. And we have six of six of six back in business. And we have Lacinius of Borg. And we have Sula of Borg. That is our scientists. We have a new admiral. Please welcome in. Phobos of Borg has impressed the Queen so much so that he has got a promotion to Admiral. So well done. We have Cowborg one of one, which is getting on a little bit here, 82. But you will be back, Cowborg. I'm not sure as what. Possibly um, a scientist. I'm going to switch you around a little bit, you guys, so you can all have a go at the helm until we get enough fleets and uh, generals to supply all of you your desired positions. Uh, we have Fleet Admiral Hall of Borg. And I want to show you something, guys. Okay, let me find it. Let's just go to the technology here. We have Qantas of Borg leading the physics research. Now, this isn't just any drone, okay? It's not. It's a Alorian. And you know what that means, guys? If you don't know what that means, I'll tell you. It means that you practically live forever. Look at the age of him already, okay? Or her, as you can see, it's a female drone named Qantas. Uh, you are 463 years old, and I reckon that's pretty young for an Alorian. So you're going to be... Th this is perfect, because I've managed to grab you with the research speed plus 5, and you're only going to get stronger, you're only going to level up, and you're only going to lead us into just so much greatness of technologies with different traits and everything. So that's really, really cool. And I think one of you as well is one of none. Yeah, that's right, one of none, you're here as well. You're just a, a normal old drone. But we need to look out for these Alorians. How cool is that? So one way to cheat death here, guys, and get, I want your characters to become uh, really, really strong. And to do that, you need to live forever, literally. So Qantas, congratulations on being the first uh, Alorian drone, which is going to live a long time. I think so anyway. I think they do. I mean, um, hopefully you don't die anytime soon from me saying that, but you should live for a long time. Uh, and four of nine, I think this is a generic one. I'm not sure this is anyone's character, but I'm not going to change the name of this one. Although it's a decent level, you are 87 and I think you're going to pass away pretty soon. But as you know with the Borg, we just repurpose drones and you come back again. So it's cheaper for the Borg to be able to just repurpose a drone, a completely new one in fact, than try to medically keep you alive. It's just the way it is. It's 
perfect, really. Um, okay, so the armies are a stand, Rufus, and of course you are on this one as well, aren't you? We can embark you. Um, Borg Bone Collectors here, run by Rufus, so we've looked at that one. And 4 of 20. Who was... We do need... Was this... No, this is still the same one. This is one that we did put down. This is not a generic one. This is 4 of 20. What a great level you are. 8 of 8. It's a pity that you're going to pass pretty soon. See, that's the level we want. These are epic, epic generals. So if we go here and have a look in the leaders, all right, you can see the age. You'll see in the Lorian one because it will be really, really old. So we don't have any Lorians, I think, anyway. Species Borg. I mean, does it say anything different? Of course, we have Jamie Plays of Borg, who is our governor. Pi of 5 and 3 of 13. Um, but, for example, let me see Quantos here. Yeah, it does say Species of Lorian. So... We want to species traipse. I don't know how long traipse live for, but hopefully longer than Borg. Borg. So we're going to go through them here. Borg. Zal. Okay. Or Zol. I don't really know the pronunciation of that one. Borg. I did know it. I, I was told it, but I forgot it. So I'm probably saying it wrong. Lots of Borg. And more Borg. 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 So, yeah, we need to keep an eye out for things like the Elorians, because then we'll grab them, all right, and we'll change you guys into them, and you'll become absolutely legendary leaders, and I mean that. You're going to have traits where we can't even see them all, you're going to have that many. I mean, look at Kalborgs from just being a Borg. He's already doing really well. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. What are we going to do today? Well, first of all, I want to see what the science ships are doing. So you're all exploring, that's fine. Six of nine, okay? This is one of the ones that we've repurposed let's send you out to find the dominion for me and i know we have so many first contacts to get through but this is just really cool oh brilliant okay this is a leader that we need to put over here um i don't know if there's anyone on the list here right now let me know if you're still watching then let me know who we can have i'm going to get one all right Probably a survey speed dude. No, you know what? Anomaly discovery chance while we're out here. Oh, wow. Look, an Elorian. We have an Elorian, guys. Oh, we have two Elorians. That's really cool. So I want one of these Elorians. And we're going to put you in there. All right. And I think it would be worth just grabbing the other one now. Okay, so there's two Elorians there. I will change you over. But there is... Uh, is there somebody out there that requires a name that I forgot? Let me know, because you can you can go into this one here. But for now, four of nine, which is an Elorian, right? Yeah. You're going to get really, really strong. So that's why I want you guys to have the luxury of having these names. I will swap you around. If I don't get a name um, by the time this episode comes out... So don't forget, there is going to be a few more episodes in front of this, which you won't see these change... I might, I might do it myself, I don't know. The next episode, there might already be names here. But if there's anyone else that I've missed out or I forgot, uh, or you've died and I've just not put back in, let me know because my list is getting a little bit clogged and I didn't realise that they were going to pass away so quickly. So I need you guys to write in the comment section, Cornish, you've missed me out, get me back in there. Or actually, I haven't even been in there, but I'd like to be in there. Just let me know. So for now, uh, we're going to... Where are we? Okay. Maybe you could get to the Dominion quite quickly. So why don't you pop up this way and see what happens. You can meet up. That's fine. So that's you. What about you? 15 of 15. I think I'm going to just get you automatically surveying. Please, Toxic, for now. Uh, Brie of Borg. You're all the way down here. You made it to the center, didn't you? In fact, I think you took over from the drone that did. Let's just diagonally get you on a course for down here. Okay, you're out there. Just, just find us really decent contacts to assimilate. Zalaria, you're out here as well. Amazing. Uh, okay, well, come on over here then. One of these is bound to be the Klingons, the Romulans, and all that good stuff. The rest of you, you're just exploring. See, we've got a bit more of a chilled episode here. We're going to be looking at our fleets. We want to get them all into the garage and upgraded. So let's get you back. Um, Phobos of Borg, you're going to be having your own fleet as well. You have this governor class, sort of law, um, governor's law class cruiser here, which is a bit odd. But it's actually quite powerful. It's okay. And this is what you're kind of running right now. But we're going to give you a few things here. We're not going to give you a diamond. Because I'm going to put that straight into the Grand Admiral's one right now. But 
I am going to give you a couple of the usual things here. So we're going to give you a couple of probes to be in command of. Say 10. A couple of cones. Oh, no, we can't we can't do cruises. I don't get that because we just can't do we can't make them, right? They're not here. I don't know. But we're going to give you some cones. Of course, we're going to give you three pyramids and we're going to give you two. Yeah, two spheres there. That looks pretty good. And we're going to start that fleet now. So that is going to be good. So if we go back to this one, I think in command of, um, well, by the Fleet Admiral Hall of Borg, we want to put in a diamond. Okay, so we'll have one diamond, but we're going to have two spheres there. Though, you know, let's knock this down a little bit and I would like another pyramid there. That looks a little bit better, I think. So that's you sorted. And the offensive asset, which is um, controlled here by Kalborg. One of one, of course. Uh, you're kind of going to be the same, but I only want one diamond in one fleet right now. But let's just kind of do what I wanted to do here. You... I don't know. Let me just come back, actually. I think you do have one sphere. I want to have a lot of pyramids, if I can, in one fleet. So we did say in the comment section, wouldn't it be cool to have quite a lot of pyramids? And you're right. So let's have, obviously, the flagship here where we have Kalborg. And we're going to have a couple of probes just doing their thing. And then we're going to have just a massive fleet of pyramids. I think that would be quite cool. As the command limit goes up, we will increase the pyramids. I like that. Early on, I think a nice, healthy fleet of pyramids would be great. Right, so the star bases. We are on 15 of 15 right now. I kind of like where they are, if I'm honest. We have a quick look. We have the trade station, which is an outright shipyard, which is kind of cool for this area. I like that. Dilithium manufacturing traffic control here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Crew quarters. I don't think we can have matter converter here. You know, for an upkeep of 20 to get 12 minerals, it's that's just never happening, I'm afraid. So we're going to go through these. This one is our uni complex. I do like it to be a shipyard always, unless there's anything else. I mean, yeah. I mean, why not? For now, we can always change it. So then we've got you up here. Now, I don't want that to be a naval depot at all. Let's put that into... Uh, sorry, a shipyard. Let's put that into a naval depot. I do want the dilithium, though. I love dilithium. Love it. Uh, this one is going to be a shipyard because it's going to be the nearest one to the Herosian orders. Um, as for these ones down here, I mean, these are going to be tanky. The EC... The, yeah, the ECM jammer and the central computer core were not ours, but I like them. So we're going to keep them. Definitely. Same with you. The fence grid as well. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, we need some alloys now. I want to just sell a few things just to get that. Wow. We can sell quite a lot of this stuff. This is good. We're getting so many good things here. All uh, right. Let's just do that. We'll sort out our shipyards here. Upgrade, please. And go for the dilithium. Right. You... I don't need you to be that. Let's naval depot you up, I think. For sure. What are we missing? Plates. You see, we can keep the jammer because we just want that. All right, that's good. Um, okay, yes, we will keep you as you are. You are upgrading dilithium. Crew quarters. I don't really need the crew quarters. Hmm. Okay, so this one, I don't know. I mean, it is a border one. I guess it would be okay to keep as... Kind of like a bastion one. So we're lacking plates, but I'll wait till we get some more. I'm going to keep that one as it is. I think it would be wise. I really do. So naval depot, we have the dilithium there. That's fine. You know, I haven't done this for a while, so I think it's good that we do this on camera. It's good that you guys see it because I want you to just feel very involved with everything. Um, You know, this is what this game's about. You know, doing all these types of things, pausing and... And, and getting all this done. We know that, right? Um, it's not just fully action-packed all the time. Although that last war was pretty crazy. I did really enjoy it. Did I miss one here? No, I did get that, didn't I? Uh, I really enjoy it because I just love how we adapted and overcame our enemy. Even though they were more powerful than us. I just, I just really appreciate the tactics of the Borg. So, looking at the Malon, they're actually equivalent. They're quite powerful. They're at war with the... Zhao. And um, that looks like it says Zhao. Yeah. But um, yeah, they're at war with them and they are equivalent. So we need to keep spying on them. 
And we have a very healthy spy network going on here. So I'm going to harvest them. Uh, let's put in the assimilated knowledge as our help. Mence one ready and go for it. Let's get some pops from them. So it's going to be quite an interesting war whenever we get to them there. We do have a free envoy. Assimilate, assimilate distinctiveness. We have gained some influence and the captured assets will be assimilated and they will adapt to serve our collective. I just love that we just do this. Happy days. Look at that. Let's go through some of these events here. Diplomacy is irrelevant. We've met the Fendemar states. There's contact and event here. Another step closer to perfection because we've assimilated our first Fendemar. It's given us lots of goodies. So love that. And we've met the Liridian as well. All right, first contact finished. Another step, another one, because Lirid Liridians. That's really cool. Um, is that everything we've just done again? No, spe another new species. Let's have a look. Okay, let's do this research, because I clicked on that first. Research, I would probably want to try and get this one out of the way, because it's a low... Oh, we can't, because we got it. We gained it through assimilation, so it doesn't count to opening the next one. That always cons me. The Hazari, very nice. And of course, lots and lots of goodies again. First contact. Lock the track being prepared drones for transport, please. Uh, let's assign an envoy to this. We do. Well, we could Lakotus, Lakotus of Borg, the Prelor one. I mean, should we get him doing something? I guess we can. Um, evaluate the threats. Can we get another one? Okay, good. Is this keep doing it? No, I think there's a little bit buggy there. So let's just get off of that situation look at all of these contacts to go through guys it's unbelievable all right um well <laughs> after like 15 minutes or so i think that we can pretty much start uh why is there an upgrade here the star base or its defense plat platforms can be upgraded okay well it can't i think it's because it's what had it what was there before I'm not sure or maybe it just means we can upgrade this one here actually so, uh, yeah, let's push play here. And let's get going. So, everything's looking a little bit tidier now. Oh, wow. Okay, this is borders we can see here. Lots of them. Lots more people to see. So, who's died straight away here? Science, Quantos of Borg. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that was quite an old Allurian, I guess, then. I thought it would be a young one because they live for, like, forever. But there we go. Uh, Quantos is already passed away and that is very sad but also very funny but we can put in the one here which I guess let me just check there isn't any other better one though at the moment where's the really old one there another old one uh you are younger what do you do a normally discovery chance you don't really do that let's just put you in for now then so, okay, so they do live a long time, all right? They do. But, um, obviously, not forever, Cornish. And I can't believe that it died straight away. So there we go. We have Quantos back in again, Quantos of Borg. And you're going to get a good 100 years or so out of that one. So that's okay. But what we will do is we will keep an eye out for the Allurians with the decent traits, the ones that help out those engineering teams there. So um, once we get one of those in, we will kind of replace the names for that. So uh, yeah, okay, that was crazy. Welcome, oh, okay, so we have a new Locutus here, all right? So the species 9229 vessel has been captured and the leader, uh, designated Joe Lee, possesses useful knowledge and experience, assimilate. Uh, we shall make, and she shall make an excellent drone. So the board collective gets 60 intel on the Liridians. And do we want to have kind of, do we want to welcome another Akutus for the Liridians now? I mean, I guess they are better than Praelor, but we are using one right now to do some um, Malon nabbing over here. So let's just say that you'll make an excellent drone, I think, for now, because I'm not too bothered about the Liridians. Where even are they? Let's have a little look down here although you know they are equivalent they are equivalent it, it's a tough one because i, I do want it more than the ray lockers let they're, they're all bit done so i guess i will and we'll have to just get the uh you know this event back up and firing again i guess um we already have one active here maybe it'll be okay i don't know but we'll see we'll see but really i need more 
envoys now that they're really really useful let's go for this one and let's put one in there oh this is locutus of borg well you know why don't you pop in here then and do some espionage why don't you do that and yeah that one would have disappeared in the melon right i don't know let me see um yeah no build busy build busy building a spy network in the melon so we're okay i think we're okay because it is eight of eight let me have a look where's the melon up here i think the event is still going i thought it might have been the other one but it's okay right an event here we have more encounters okay first contact data assimilation can we do any of this we can do a tier one so we might as well rattle through that as quickly as possible tier one society tier one and done reinforcements and transit good an event all right system surveyed repairs complete construction complete system surveys and the erosion are laying claims oh lots of star bases have been completed as well uh they're looking quite beefy quite nice i quite like it so some of the planets up here then who's died now science drone four of nine all right yeah that was that one down here so maybe we could put another Alorian in there i don't know let's have a look uh we don't have any scientific ones they're not very good are they for traits the borg unfortunately um i don't know yes we could just put in let's put you in i think it's quite important that we have strong ones here in our leaders in our technology and then there is a scientist now that requires a science vessel that requires a leader you let's recruit and let's get one of these survey speed dues on the case there off you go good um all right what else is up here so many events independence erosions will now guarantee the independence of the cell event Ooh. oh wow oh wow look at that 28 pops simulate malonis malonis yes with 28 pops wow go for that that is gonna severely hurt them i like that we have an encounter there's no point doing those right now nope encounter there so many encounters might as well get all these encounters done haven't we and looked at if they're in there then they're in there ready to go that's why we're getting so many at the moment because we're out doing these widespread missions here which is quite cool what are you doing you're not doing a lot mm, yeah why don't you just start surveying around the middle i think Bree, go for it let's see what those systems are all about over there uh right you can keep on reinforcing please the rest of you are okay for now we do really need to work on those and we need to work on our alloys up here as well let's have a look i mean like these ones here right um division headquarters that's fine i guess for now but let's have a look what do we want here we do have a load of available jobs but we're going to be getting pots so i guess we'll wait for the time being we need more pots uh current unemployment we have a lot of a lot of jobs available we do we have so many jobs we need to fill them we just need to concentrate on getting pops so we need to pick our next target really and i guess that would be the trade again do. right oh wow they've oh okay they have entered one big alliance this is going to be fun so the Kazon, the Kabali, the Trabe, and the Herosian, and the Zal down there. So is there anyone that's close to us that isn't any of those? <laughs> the Prelor. But they're not going to give us pops. No. So we need to build up because we want to be able to take them all on. Now, these are all pathetic, so they're not going to hurt us. Really, at all. It's just going to be the Herosian. And was it the Melon as well? Let me try that again in a minute. No, it wasn't the Melon. Okay. We can't go to war with the Melon at the moment anyway, because we have to border them, right? Yeah, look, can't do it. But they are on their own. And we have a random Borg assimilation cube here that we could use. Tactical asset under the Borg. That'd be quite cool. What's this about, guys? Tell me, tell me, please. Whatever that is. 
Um, but anyway, uh, as for buildings, we just need to fill out jobs. We need to get more pots. We have repurposing, not repurposing ones. We have maturation chambers and stuff, though. So we'll keep up with that. And we'll keep up with the upgrades, I guess, with the certain planets here. Five nodes and things. Uh, it's going to cost energy, but I like the fact that it's all upgraded nicely. Let's try and keep up with that. Nanite foundries, yeah. You know, just keep those nanites coming. It's quite low. Might as well with that as well. Oh, yes, please. Get that going, the hive junction. And what's if the... We want to get this node up and running as well, don't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, definitely. And we do need some more drones. That's something we need to look at. We've got quite a lot of building here and upgrading. Uh, what about the main place? Yeah, wow. Okay, let's get that upgraded. Maintenance depot. Yes, let's do that now. Repurposing center. That's going to help. As you can see there, the job based production there is our drones. So we want to upgrade that for definite. Long term data archives. That's like our universities. Uh, yeah, and all good. That, that is good. I like it. Foreign Empire claims our system. When don't they? Hey guys, when don't they? So we've got everything in order. So far, this is how I like it. We just keep looking at star bases and things, you know, making sure we have what we want on them. This, you know, you want these to be kind of real strong star bases, I guess. So let's go with another, maybe with the armor plating. I lift manufactory, don't need any more there. We can upgrade if we had the plates. Well, we can see their first contact straight away, so I'm going to right click them, but they do come up anyway. As you can see here, if you right click them, they pop up anyway to let you know about the whole thing. Nexus node, monthly unity. I think I might go for that, you know. Mechanical pop assembly speed plus 10. Organic pop assembly speed plus 10. Naval capacity. It's a good one. It's a good one. So I like the idea of these two. Some more monthly unity. Wouldn't go amiss because it would help with edicts and all the rest of it. Okay, so the Zowl have made peace. Construction complete on the star bases. Reinforcements. There's a coalition that has been formed between the Zowl and the Prelor. Prelor are literally, they are out of the game, I think. Ooh, species assimilated. This is all the Malon ones, isn't it? So we've just gained a lot of goodies from it. Okay, so... And a lot of pops have just come our way. So I think we did quite well there. We have assimilated of a Malon pop. So as you can see how many we got there. So not a bad return for doing a little bit of um, espionage. The technology has been researched as well. The phase torpedo. Hmm, that would be a nice upgrade to our ships, you know. Especially the new ones on the way. Oh, I do love the mining station production though. But I'm going to go for the phase torpedo on this one. Nanites, why are you costing us so much? Nanites are microscopic robotic devices. We know what they are, but where can we get them? Just from those factories, I guess. So what did we go for? We went for connectivity, did we? Now this is to help with the Unicomplex section capacity, wasn't it? I think we wanted to get this one done. So with that in place, did we get another one? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, we did. I mean, that's really, really good. Uh, Mega structure. Unicomplex capacity, what does that one lead to here? Enables the construction of subcomplexes on ruined ancient megastructures. Galactic forum stations and incomplete scientific arrays. Well, that would be really handy. Uh, but I'm going to go for this one. Right, that's all of that done. That's two out of that from um, grabbing those pops. Really, really powerful. I love that. Uh, but what do we get? Well, let me just push play. And I think, can we now do anything with this? Oh, yes, we can. So let's do it because... It will only grow pops. It will be another place to grow pops. You know, we're going to get another one here. Ooh. Let's do this. And I like to see that it's full up. Drone hives. Let's get two of those. Excellent stuff. Oh, yeah, because of all the pops we just grabbed. It's really filled out those jobs as well, hasn't it, guys? I mean, look, we've gone down from like 12 to 8 straight away. On pretty much all of them. We have a lot of upgrades going on here. We do need to sort out the amenities here. Do we have another building that does amenities? So we're looking for the little spanner. Although this drone repurposing center wouldn't go and miss either. Because that helps towards our drones here. Yeah, I kind of got to get it really. Maintenance depot. That's the one we want. Uh, we want to probably put that up to the front. 
can do that over here with these arrows if you didn't know so push them right up and then we there we go so we don't have to get rid of our queue here now the rest of it is i'm happy with it once we've got a maintenance depot we can probably upgrade it quite a lot uh but yeah all good 52 pops on there the housing looks quite nice it all looks quite in order i like what we're producing here getting quite a nice amount of alloys oh, oh yes we are 80 that's what i like to see we do want more nanites though don't we so let me have a look what we can do here as well do we have room is what we can do um which is the one that does the nanites alloys astro drone repurposing one of those maintenance there we go nanite foundry if we got two nanite foundries okay once they're built we can then go over to our population and work on that once we see it here we'll be able to click on the nanite one i guess because if you look on our uni complex here we'll have one right there nanite harvester okay so if we wanted to we can prioritize that so for example if we then got in another one once that gets built it will prioritize uh, jobs to go straight to these nanite foundries but we do have them upgrading so that's going to help us boost it as well all right so not bad overall really right shipyard here that's what we want it to be again we're doing okay with energy i'm going to spend it on my dilithium and a crew core is there because we want that to keep them coming in because we can just sell it as and when we want if we're getting so much of it and why not and while i'm here won't hurt to just sell a little bit of this and that get a wad like that in place to then go and how much is it for a pyramid okay let's have a look pyramid oh let's go back to that sorry a diamond Four th nearly five thousand alloys oh wow okay we're gonna save up for it i want the flag um well, what would you call it the flag fleet <laughs> to have the flagship and um, I know Philip would definitely use it to its fullest potential. Let's continue. It's going to be a little while, but I'm going to keep saving it. I'm going to sell stuff. I know it's not really worth selling it for alloys, but, you know, I just want to hurry up and get that beast of a ship, if I'm honest. And then I want to look at it. In fact, I want to look at some of our ships. Let's have a look. Oh, hang on. We haven't gone to Ship Designer for a while. Um, Yeah, we do have that. Let me pause. Okay, let's have a look at the diamond a minute. Ooh, nice. Looks like a fast ship, you know, like quite fast. I don't know why I'm getting that sort of vibe from it, but I am. Uh, the science ship kind of looks like, you remember one of those things you fold up with paper and you used to use them in school and it would, you know, you kind of have different sentences on each one and whichever one it landed on, you would have that or <laughs> whatever it would be. It was like truth or dare or something, you know. That's what that looks like. <laughs> uh, but it is cool. I like it. But the diamond, we need to look at that. We want a combat diamond, not a service one. I like a combat one. And the diamond interior is perfect. I mean, that's all we're going to have anyway. Uh, light. Okay, so heavy interspatial charges. Uh, we do like those a lot. The anti-photon beam. What have we got here? We have got the photon beam. I need to just see what we got. We've got a reinforced cutting beam, all right, and we've got that. I guess that would be the best ones out of the lot there. They haven't done a bad job, if I'm honest. Oh, then again, okay, so the charge is powerful, right? Let me guess. Look at this. Wow. Okay, the damage is between 1100 and 3300. The average damage is 89. I do kind of go by that, but we look at the face torpedo not as good but what do they do so shield penetration is always one of my favorites if i'm honest because although it says minus shield damage if you're already going through what shields they have to hit that armor and that hull then well what what's the need of shield damage right this is again shield penetration is quite nice uh but you can see the cooldown is 18 seconds cooldown is 18 seconds accuracy 75 Accuracy is a little bit better here. The tracking is 20 and the tracking is 10, but the range is 60 and the range is 40. So, you know, I like these interspatial charges. Am I seeing that wrong? But I'm thinking that these are better. So we're going to stick with those for now. So the regenerative 
armor is excellent. We want that big time. So for the red ones, we're going to go with how are we doing for power? Very well. Thank you. So we don't need another reactor. An EPS manifold, which does increase the ship weapons damage already. Like it will, it will boost it up quite nicely and the ranger as well. So why don't we get in three of those, two of those. And this is going to cost a lot more, I know. An alcove bay. Oh, that's going to do so that's some really nice like regen. So yeah, we do that. And everything is as good as it can be here. Yes, no. Hang on. What are we on here? What have we got here? Multi adaptive plexus. Uh, enhance adaptation. Okay, it reduces the armor piercing ability of all enemies. Yeah, so we want the uh, that type of thing in there. What does this do? So he repairs the hull of friendly ships. No, I'm going to stick with this. So we're going to save that. And now how much does it cost? Um, let me have a look. Okay, it didn't really, it didn't really change. So that's kind of good. So I'm happy with that. And I think that is all of it, right? Auto upgrade. I will auto upgrade because as we get better stuff of the same type of like weapons class it will upgrade for us so you just don't want the auto gen one which is underneath here like that's what it was already on so we've taken that off uh, but i think we've yeah we have got some pretty decent stuff on the other ones so i'm happy with that so that's good so we've got a really strong pyramid coming guys let's just continue now um and just tick down a little bit of time here Fendamar has made peace with Iridian. Now, did we put someone here? We did, didn't we? Wow, that's really going quick. So let's get you going. Analyze the assimilated data. Okay, accept. Launch. So with that underway, hopefully we will get some kind of knowledge on what they're all about. Wouldn't mind harvesting them. Ah, there we go. That was better. We got all of their border now. As you saw, that came in there quite nicely. Um... So, and we got a little bit more information on them here, which is cool. Very, very cool. We want to get to the 70 because I want to harvest them. And we do have one in here still. Can we harvest again? No, they're actively monitoring our forces because they're like, hey, hang on a minute. What the hell happened? We've like just lost like 26,000 people. Um, where did they go and why? <laughs> so they are investigating us. We will have to uh, keep an eye on that. No problem. Um... If that's the case, then I might move you on and maybe try and take some of, like... Everyone's equivalent. This is crazy. It's because we got we had such a war, didn't we, with the erosion. It hurt us. Maybe the Krenim... Could we take some more pops Seize from the, the Krenim? Day. Superior now, and we don't want the Krenim being superior, guys. They are our arch enemies. We need to put someone in. Let's take them from the Melon. Uh, oh, actually, you know... I don't think I can move you now. I was going to say, do I want to do that? Because if they go to war with us, then that will be scary. But you know, I, you know what? I, I don't really care. I want the pops. This is dangerous, what I'm doing, guys. But um, I recommend you don't do that. Unless you are a very non-experienced board player like myself who doesn't have a clue what they're doing and you want to just have fun. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, let's go for a tier two. Don't get that very often. Oh, and a tier 3. Might have had a tier 3 on the other one as well. I didn't really notice. Nope. Tier 2 there. That's fine. And let's done you. First contact. Everyone okay? They're all doing their job. Right, we... We need alloys. Real bad. We're in a bit of a predicament here. I'm provoking wars. And I don't have any type of backup. Oh, the uh, nanites went up quite nicely. Do they sell nice? Not really. Uh, need 25,000. We're going to have to wait. have to keep those alloys coming. So let's have a look to see what we can do with our construction ships. I mean, they're all out there busy, right? They're doing stuff. I want more stuff because I want to sell more stuff. This system here, I want it. How much is it? 135. Well, we we'll have to kind of make our way to it. What about this one? 67. So if we go and grab him... Avoid that one, please. Grab that one. It will connect here. Then we'll grab this one. Like I said, I don't mind. I don't really want to grab these ones here. I want them to populate them. And then I'm just going to snatch all those lovely scrummy pops. 
Oh, defensive pack with the Krenum, the Melon. Oh, I don't know. This is going to, I thought this is going to be actually quite relatively easy, but no, no, no. Everyone could be going to war with us at any minute, but we do have some pretty decent star bases and I'm going to keep on top of that, guys. Like, big time. Because we have to. In fact, marketplace, plates, buy. Let me buy a few of those. Let's keep on top of our star bases because we are going to get declared upon like there is no tomorrow. And I mean that. Like, big time. Ah! I want to buy more. Give me more! Just get those upgrades going. I don't want to be caught with my pants down. Uh, energy from technicians per commercial district. Yes, please. Let's hit that up. On toss of board. Get it done. Okay, so we have got a first contact here with the Vertian Polity. Okay, I've never heard of these guys. And um, they seem to be telling us that if we keep out of their affairs, they will keep out of ours. But we are the Borg and we will add your technology to our own. And, um, you know, <laughs> we will become perfect by assimilating each and every one of you. If you can add any extra perfection to us, that is. Uh, we do not take kindly to your sort. And as one, we will destroy you. So they will have little care. Well, they do have little care for our diplomatic maneuvering. And this one is pretty much the same. So I think as one, we will destroy you because we just want to do that. Oh, very nice indeed. This is the Krenim, I guess. Um, let's go for the 16 and really cause a stir up, shall we? War intel received. All right, guys. So basically that did trigger a war like I thought it would. So we took those pops away from the Krenim and uh, it didn't come up with the big war screen or anything like that. Uh, but the good news here, OK, the good news is that it does just trigger the war with the Krenim. It doesn't seem to trigger the war with all their... Um, coalition members or alliances, defensive pact members or anything like that. So, I mean, uh, they are more um, superior than us, but we do have the advantage of our star bases. Now, looking at this one here, it does seem to be one of the Herosia ones we captured. So it's not very strong at all. So maybe it was worth actually knocking that one down to build a new one around here somewhere. But for now, we use it. I'm not going to knock it down now. That'd be silly. Um, the offensive asset which was here uh 2.2k where can you upgrade you can upgrade there but i'm not going to bother i'm going to get you up here and i'm going to reinforce you we're not going to be able to save up for that diamond just yet we will bring one of these fleets up i know they're upgrading we'll wait till they finish upgrading i think um and then we're going to bring them up back up you're going to see we're going to have to call the episode there actually guys pretty much we're just going to give it a couple of minutes just to see what happens here um, okay, allocate drones for transport, begin invasion data. Um, I think we'd do that one. Sounded good. Uh, okay, let's get rid of right click that one. So yeah, we did get the pops, but we it does declare war. Remember, it's, it gives you kind of two attempts. So just be careful going forward. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to pick and choose who we do that to. Now, we already have assimilated a load from here, haven't we? Or have we not? No, we didn't. Not yet, but we will. So we're going to do the one here. And then we're going to kind of move on. I would like to have a war with these guys, actually, if it doesn't trigger anyone else. Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, they are powerful and really strong here. So we're going to have to be really, really careful. Leaders have gained lots of levels here. This is great. Uh, one one leader levels up. I think a load of them do because they share XP, which is really cool. Uh, but we are in trouble. We need to come here if they match that together that's 20 odd k versus what our 22k plus our couple of k are they going to take this a lot of that so some of these star bases here for example this one is there anything we can do not really i'm not going to start switching them all out i like to have the naval depots if we can we're missing we're kind of on the minus on the drones right now so lots to do in the next episode uh we need to okay you've been upgraded now Let's get you a few reinforcements. Let's send the Fleet Admiral up as well. I don't want to send them all up because I just don't trust what's going to happen here. We are upgrading that star base there. That's fine. So, yeah, I think we're going to call that episode there. I think we're going to leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger. We do have a bit of a large fleet coming and there's probably more, if I'm honest. So we can handle it if done correctly here. We can bring our fleets up. We might be able to then secure a couple of these pots. 
have a look. Where is it? Here. I mean, what are we talking here? Ten? You know, ten's better than none. And we can bring our troops up. Got some pretty decent sized troops here. Bring them up here to the Ritz. Let's bring both of them up to the Ritz as well. And I probably will get a couple more going. I mean, where do we have a planet here? I think we have a planet there, don't we? Yeah. Can we build armies here yet? No, I think it's just from our main places here. So ooh, we have the new segment, guys. Love that. We'll look at that in the new one. But let's go to armies. Let's recruit some drone army erosions. They are even more powerful. So yes, please. Oh, OK, hang on. Can we not get them. Yeah, we can get some here. OK, we got one because I think we're why can't we? Oh, you can only have so many five of those so okay let's add a few of those and we're going to keep beefing up our armies because i wonder well there isn't anything there but you know there's going to be and the krenim are going to be tough they are one of our arch enemies here so uh, it's going to be a good war but at least it's just these guys for now because don't forget the rest of them could just dive in there i mean these guys have grown right back now so it's really really tough and it's going to be really really fun so let's see what happens in the next episode so as always guys if you did enjoy that one then do give it a big thumbs up for me and if you're new to the channel then do hit that subscription button for me it really helps me out so until the next one as always take care and bye bye for now make it so